Oh, well, she was um, presenting at Faculty Planning Day, and I chose to go to her presentation out of curiosity. And well, I'm actively trying to incorporate CF faculty and encourage them to incorporate the cur curriculum into our art objects here. And so I was talking about how one can do that, and Eliza just took the ball and absolutely ran with it. And it's been so much fun. We've had by the time it's over 60 something, 60 plus students will have come through. And and uh, she actually had a picture of one of the art at her presentation. And I sat there and said, oh, I can see this. So what are you guys seeing in this one? Um, we're seeing bacteria mm -hmm. over there. And then, um, so we're seeing female here. We're thinking of urinary tract infection. Mm -hmm. um, the yellow colors is like urine and um, we're seeing the bacteria, so that's why we came up with infection. Mm -hmm. And she's kind of out of it. She's um, obviously yellow for urine, but then there's some orange and there's some red. And um, a, one of the known medicines that um, is given for a UTI, the color of the urine will change to an orange-yellow. Yeah, it's um, an antispasmodic agent. Um, so it kind of looks like it's releasing from her in the picture. So, so in my painting, I see uh, hypothyroidism because the symptom of it is dry skin. The guy looks like his face is cracking from the dry skin. And also his bow and arrow could be inserting an IV or a catheter into a patient. And then I also see mobility with the birds flying and the cheetah running and the snake crawling. Um, I see infection and septic shock and she's dying and this is death coming with oxygenation she's taking her last breath and this man up here is trying to heal her from the from dying and that's what I agree but I think he looks evil so <laughs>